Now, it sounds expensive to do all those extra criteria and controls. Does our passive house expensive to do? The wonderful thing about passive house, and they've learned this in Europe, is that uh, they decided in Europe that where well, they've been studying this very thoroughly, the uh, European Union, um, that passive house is the uh, cost effective way to build. And it, it's cost effective for a number of reasons. One is that uh, essentially because you by taking out the mechanical system you all of a sudden save a bunch of money by relying on efficiency you then save it, it, you become a very cost effective way of getting to deep energy reduction and you don't have all this equipment that you have to keep replacing over the, over the lifetime of the building you just have the systems that uh, save energy for forever um, so if, uh, insulation is the, the you know, least expensive way to get to get uh, energy reduction, and it's the most durable, lasts forever. So, and same with air tightness. So, and they use the other way of thing they use is the heat exchanger, which is a uh, really valuable way. It, it uses it has a constantly running uh, fan, so it's always bringing fresh air into the building. But some people think, well, the fan ought to be, you know, quite an energy drain. But in fact, by heat exchanging that air that's going out, then it captures all the heat that would have that's leaving the building, and so the the, uh, the fan actually pays back the energy almost tenfold what what it, it uses in, in the energy that it captures.